Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to analyze three IBDP biology course book based on new curriculum 2023. So let's get started. So guys, we start with the IB uh, Oxford biology course book. And uh, this concept-based course book has been developed uh, in cooperation with the IB to provide most comprehensive support for the DP biology uh, for the first teaching from September 2023 based on a new curriculum created by experienced uh, IB authors, examiners and teachers. It's packed with activities, questions, opportunities to regularly practice, plus extensive assessment preparation for support. And this is the guide how to use this book. And it starts with the guiding questions, linking questions, and guiding questions and linking questions you're going to see in all three books. Uh, probably it's based on the new curriculum. So what are the guiding questions at the start of the every chapter? So um, you'll see the guiding questions that uh, engage you with some of the questions that might uh, arise as you study the material. And linking questions help you view the course content through a different lens from the themes and levels of organization that guide the syllabus. Nature of science is the uh, using issues from both modern science and science history and show how the ways of doing science have evolved over the centuries. Uh, theory of knowledge, you know, that's an important part of the IB diploma pr program and it focuses on critical thinking and understanding how we arrive at our knowledge of the world. When it comes to developing skills, we have the approach to learning and this framework consists of five general skills thinking skills, communication, social research, and self-management skills. So this actually part is very important and useful for all IB subjects. Application of the skills, and here um, this framework also intended to introduce uh, students a range of possible protocols that can be modified and combined to carry out an investigation on your own. When it comes to practicing, there's database questions uh, and the end of the chapter questions. So let's see how the chapters actually look like. So the chapter looks like this. And here we have the standard level and higher level uh, syllables outline. Um, and here we have the ATL communication skills database questions. And at the end of the chapter, you see the linking questions. Again, the database questions. In general, um, Oxford Biology course book is very simple, uh, very pre uh, precise, and so um, based on the uh, new curriculum. Second book is the Hotter IBDP book. This course book that implements inquiry-based and conceptually focused teaching and learning, consolidates skills and improve exam performance with short and simple knowledge checking questions, exam style questions, and hints to help avoid common mistakes. Integrate the theory of knowledge into your lessons and provide opportunities for a cross curriculum study with the TOE key boxes and inquiries that provide real-world examples, key studies, and questions. So here's the guide how to use the book. It started with the guiding questions, um, the syllabus content that uh, follows the exact order of the contents of the IB biology diploma syllabus. So there is a concept that four themes that underpin the IB DP biology course and the conceptual understanding enhances the overall understanding of the course, making the subject more meaningful. And here we have the key terms the definitions uh, of the special um, part and it helps to understand the um, language of biology, the common mistakes. These boxes contain advice regarding some of the common misunderstanding. That is very important and it's a very good part of this book. And the top tips features include advice relating to content being discussed. And TO key um, that's uh, allowed to develop the critical thinking skills and deepen the biology understanding. There's also link, uh, linking questions, uh, practice exam style questions. Now let's see how the first chapter actually looks like. So first chapter started with the water. Here we have the guiding questions, syllabus content, that what uh, it's really important to uh get out of this uh chapter 
and concept, unity and diversity, um, and as well as the key terms such as covalent bonding, polar molecule, hydrogen bond. It just gives an explanation overall if you don't know certain parts of the chapter. Common mistakes and your key boxes. In general, Hotter book is uh, very colorful uh, and uh, it has special tools that such as common mistakes, um, the um, TO key boxes, top tips that help you uh, to understand the topic um, much better. So the third and the last book is actually um, Pearson books. Um, so it has the separate standard level and higher level books. This is the good news for the students because um, these books offer flexibility and ensure that every student covers the right content. So this is the biology standard and the biology higher level. So we're going to look at the higher level. Um, what we see here is that um, new and updated material uh, with the familiar features including nature of science, global applications, skills, TOI key, key fact and challenge yourself boxes that signpost and extend key learning points and the context. Conceptual approach offers a flexible road through the syllabus with topics linked to increase deep the understanding and so it just promised to have the plain language with scientific terms highlighted in bold and explained so here, uh, what we see here is from the guide of the how to use the book. It starts with the guiding questions and nature of science. It gives the content and the key features are the skills in the study of the biology. So these boxes indicate the links to the skills section of the course, including ideas for lab work and experiments that will support your learning and help you prepare for the internal assessment as well as TOKI so that the TOKI actually stimulates the uh, thought and consideration of knowledge. Key facts are drawn out of the main text and highlighted in bold and hint for success so this box gives hint on how to approach the questions and suggest approach that examiners like to see as well as the challenge yourself. It's the box contain probing questions that encourage you to think about the topic, interesting facts, and the questions as you see here. So let's see how the first chapter looks like. Here you see the practice questions as well and exercise. So the first chapter looks like this. Here you have the first, it started with the guiding questions first and for each part it gives the syllabus outline. Uh, here you have the um, key facts, information, nature of science, uh, as well as at the end of the chapter, we're going to see the exercise and guiding questions revisited here. So um, generally this Pearson uh, book is also good. Uh, in, in plain language with the scientific terms highlighted in bold and explained and as well as the TOK and skills integrated throughout as well as its uh, in dedicated chapters. That's it for today. I hope that this book review is going to be very helpful for you. Stick around. Bye-bye.